the city remains committed to working with small or minority-owned businesses as much as possible. City Council members recently received an update on what the city is doing to promote small business growth and inclusion in Durham. $103 million have been spent on construction projects, professional services, goods, and services so far this year. Through the Equal Business Opportunity Program, 12% of that is going to minority or women-owned businesses. That's 2% higher than the 10% participation goal. With the Small Local Business Enterprise Program, the city has already surpassed its participation benchmark for the year for both construction and professional service contracts. Construction contracts are at 27% and professional service contracts are at 31%. The benchmark for both is 25%. For more information about both of these programs and other small business development activities, visit DurhamNC.gov. Six female members of Durham's law enforcement community and one female resident are being recognized for excellence and achievement. The police department hosted the Eagle Awards luncheon on March 16th to honor the women. During the event, Mary Roberts, Detective Shell Geiger, and resident Chick Hidden received the sister-in-law commendation. Officer Lauren McFall, Officer Emily Kiefer, and Portia Sidberry received the Trailblazer commendation. Investigator Catherine Moody received the Crime Fighter commendation. Also as part of the luncheon, Polly Murray was spotlighted as a National Women's History Month honoree. Murray, who was raised in Durham, was considered a critical figure in both the civil rights and women's rights movements. If you want to find out how the city is paving the way for bicyclists and pedestrians along Carpenter Fletcher Road, you'll want to mark your calendar for an upcoming design meeting. The drop-in style meeting is set for March 27th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. at Lowe's Grove Middle School. The goal of the project is to improve bicycle and pedestrian accommodations from East Woodcroft Parkway to South Austin Avenue. If you can't attend the meeting, you can still give your feedback by visiting the Public Works homepage at DurmanC.gov. All feedback must be received by April 10th. The city is continuing its financial support of two important cultural art programs in Durham. $65,000 will be used to help the Center for Documentary Studies produce the Full Frame Documentary Film Festival and several other events throughout the year. The Durham Convention and Visitors Bureau estimates that last year's event resulted in a total economic impact of $2.9 million for the city. Another $50,000 will be spent to help the American Dance Festival, or ADF, to fund cultural arts programs. These programs are expected to bring visitors downtown and spur economic development. ADF's estimated economic impact last year was $6.2 million. There are more developments to report with two public art projects in downtown. The first project is the installation of 12 new original art panels that will wrap around the facade of the Corcoran parking garage. During its March 19th meeting, the City Council voted to accept the donation and installation of the banners from the Durham Arts Council. The banners are expected to be installed by July. The second project is the installation of public art at the new mixed-use parking garage downtown. The City Council approved spending $100,000 on the design, fabrication, and installation of the work. As part of the contract, the artist design team Public Ground Studio, consisting of Blaine de Saint Croix, Laura Kaufman, and Samuel Brissett, will be gathering public input to inform their artistic approach at two meetings on Monday, April 2nd. A meet and greet will be held from noon to 1 p.m. at the Unscripted Hotel, followed by a pop-up design studio from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Historic Paris Street Forum. The garage and art installation are expected to be finished early next year. 